everybody. Today I'm going to be trying to style Karomi inspired outfits just from the pieces that I have in my wardrobe. I don't know if you can tell but I am very much a pastel kind of girl so this might be a little bit hard. I do have a lot of black pieces but I don't have that darker pink color that she usually wears. I'm hoping to continue this series doing my favorites like Little Twin Stars and Hello Kitty and Gudetama and but today I just want to focus on the style icon herself Karomi. I went on Pinterest to try and drum up some inspiration of the types of outfits I feel like if Karomi was a real girl what would she wear and so I found a lot of these kinds of images and I was trying to pull pieces that I knew that I had in my closet and even some that I didn't. Um, I saw a lot of these grungy pastel goth um, e-girl styles that I really felt connected with Karomi's essence and the bad bee that she is and I'm hoping that I can find pieces in my closet that can fit that style and pull them together because it is one thing to have all the pieces and not be able to put them together but I will show you the pieces that I have for her before I start styling. Go into the deep dark abyss that is my guest room because that's where my closet is. Hello and welcome to my closet. Let's look into it. <laughs> oh. oh, are you asking why I'm having trouble walking towards this area? It's because I have too many shoes down here. Let me show you what I've picked out from my wardrobe that I think could fit Karomi's style. First up, this bag. This bag is a cute coach black bag. I've also got these two bralettes. This one's pink, this one's black. We've got knee high black socks. This is one of my favorite pieces. These flared pants. My boyfriend actually got me this shirt. God, I hate tie-dye, but this really does fit. Light pink frilly socks. I only found one of my leather thigh-high socks. Where's the other one? I wish I had a black long sleeve turtleneck, but I can't find one, so we have a regular black long sleeve. This bodysuit that says babe on it. More pink frilly socks. Black tights. I actually got this dress for my birthday. Thrifted this duster puff sleeve pink sweater. This pink vest. My mom's black leather vest that she gave me. This dress definitely reminds me of like pilgrim, but make it goth. White and black plaid pleated skirt, pink pleated skirt. Another plaid skirt. These kind of juicy couture-esque sweatpants. Here's the matching jacket top to those sweatpants. This velvety dress with leopard trim. Or is that cheetah? That's cheetah. That's definitely cheetah. This cute black milkmaid top. And lastly for clothing items, we've got this black pleated skirt. Let's bring it down to the shoes. Hello, and welcome to where the pile of shoes that I have to show you is. First, we have these pink filas. I've got these platform Chelsea boots. Next up, we've got black Doc Martin Mary Janes. My tried and true Dr. Martins. <laughs> these high heels, like bondage high heels. My dream pair of boots. I'll just show you one. They are pink knee-high combat boots. Let's move on to accessories. Oh why, hello. You've caught me standing next to my obligatory chair filled with tons of clothes that don't need to be washed, but you've only worn them once. Let's get into the accessories. This pink hat that says baby girl, because let's be real here, Karomi has a soft side and sometimes she needs to express it. I've got this pink necklace, this darker pink necklace, and this black one. This hair bow. I've got these two hair clip bows in black and pink. This super cute bracelet that I made probably like 15 years ago. 
these hair clips that I made about a year and a half ago. I have two sets of earrings that I think will work. Aren't these cherries adorable? Hello. Um, I have a quick intermission. Look at this mess that I've made. <laughs> yes, this, this room is a hot mess. But if you can tell that, 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 and that are all the outfits I made. Will they all work? We will find out. We will try and find out. But it's a lot. So with that being said, let's get started on this transformation. I think I'm going to do my makeup just to give a little bit of ambiance. Okay, so here's my makeup in the natural sunlight. Tried to do something a little extra over here, but <laughs> not the best. But I think I look cute. Um, for your sake, when I try on these outfits, I will not be keeping on my glasses. I will be a little bit blind for you, just for you. Let's try on some outfits. Already got this one on. Need to figure out how to style the hair, the accessories. I've already got these earrings on. I'm thinking some sandals because this is giving me Moon Girls vibes. Okay, so this outfit is definitely giving me Mean Girls vibes, especially with the 2000s kind of look. We've got the Juicy Couture-esque jacket top. We've got the old saddle bag going on. We have socks with sandals, a very cute look might I add. <laughs> um, this skirt is so mini and I swear Katie wears the same um, style of skirt in Mean Girls and I just love the way the hoops in my ears fit in as well. I don't know this is such a cute outfit and I would genuinely wear this. I am loving this and I think this is more of a Karomi who's the mean girl in school. Very popular. Definitely her colors. But I think that we need to go a little bit more grunge. Okay so I'm keeping my glasses on for this one because we have to talk. Um, so it's a little bit awkward. I think I'm going to call this schoolgirl Karomi. So this is her, she's in elementary school. She can't put her own bow in her head. AKA I couldn't put a bow in my head. Okay, hair accessories in my hair, they don't work, okay? I'm a hat girl, I wear hats. Um, does the color of these socks match the sweater I'm wearing? No, they don't. Um, did I zip up this Killstar dress that's too small because their sizing chart is complete and utter crap? Um, no, I didn't because the Titas are not fitting correctly. So <laughs> there's a lot going on, but I styled it with these Mary Janes because I thought it would kind of complete the schoolgirl-esque look that's going on. And I think that it worked. I think this is kind of cute. Like I think we're doing something. I think I found my favorite. Um, imagine this outfit, but darker pink. Like all the shades of pink are darker. I love every single part of it. I love this little like nighttime duster that I've got going on, but with the pink pleated skirt and I love this detail it's not as grungy I kind of wish I had something a little bit more you know rock rock I don't know like what even is Karomi she's just edgier like something a little edgier this is definitely more my melody or charmy kitty but it just went so well with the outfit that I had to throw it on like 
just like color shade this video and make it hot pink or dark hot pink instead i just want to live in this i just want i i just want to live in this it's so pretty but like where would i go anywhere i could go anywhere in this outfit i think we finally got to the point where we're getting a little bit more grungy chromey you know i'm missing the spikes and the chains like i need a, a chain loop i need more rips in my jeans i only got like <laughs> one rip but i'm compensating with <laughs> cherry earrings <laughs> and my doc martin's very loose i want to admit a secret to you it's a very gross and kind of tragic secret i did not put socks on before i put my shoes on I'm sorry, but besides that, I kind of put my hair in these messy pigtails, I changed out this necklace, changed out the earrings, and I'm loving this layering look. The greatest thing about this whole experience is I'm creating outfits I never created, things that I saw on Pinterest, um, things that I saw on like YouTube that I always wanted to do but I just never did and I didn't even realize that I had the tools to do so with my closet so I'm really getting out of my comfort zone and I'm loving it. I think this is very cute. This is like outdoor concert Karomi, you know? She's just vibing. It's a little chilly but she still wants to look cute and you know, girl next door. <laughs> Okay, now hear me out. Um, I really thought this wasn't going to work. Um, and you may be wondering, why are you scratching down like this? Um, it's because I've got these on, but I actually really like this. I couldn't zip it up all the way because, you know, we don't always have the best um, dexterity. But I kind of like this. Once again, imagine if these colors were darker, a darker pink. This is a workout just to stand in this, but I really love the contrast of this print. That's all I can say. Just let the outfit speak for herself. Can you tell I've never worn these out before and they are literally just decoration? Because they are. Okay, now we hobble away. All right. I call this one business babe Karomi. I guess this is when Karomi needs to go to work. Um, she's still a bad bee. She's still a pink bee. But she's just a blazer bee too. <laughs> um, I really like this. I think the colors work. I like um, how this is kind of a little bit edgy, but still respectable because you know she's still giving a presentation to the board because she's the ceo <laughs> these boots are making an appearance they will not be making another appearance unless i can get all these clothes off without taking off these boots but this is just really cute someone get me a briefcase i'm on the job this definitely hands down has to be one of the better looks that I've put together today. We've got a lot of black, a lot of pink, a lot of separation, some edginess, schoolgirlness, grungeness, cutesiness, and I think that's kind of like the epitome of Karomi. I know her style definitely leans more towards like a darker, edgier side, but I just don't have that clothing. But I still feel like I embody her essence when I wear something like this outfit. I really love how this leather jacket kind of, you know, dresses it up. Love the skirt, love the vibes. And like I said, I'm a hat girl. <laughs> I would wear this outfit out very easily and you know, people wouldn't be able to tell that it's a Karomi outfit, but you definitely get the vibes. Um, so this one I think is a fail. It's just not working. You know, this is not the right shirt. It's a little too fitted. It feels too 2000, like the cringy 2000. I really do feel like Ashley Tisdale. I really tried to save it with the belt. Trust me, without the belt, it looks 
even crazier and without the hat it didn't look put together even remotely I just feel like the colors are right but it's just a bad outfit like this is just a bad outfit and I don't feel comfortable in it I feel like I look wrong I look like I was supposed to be a Hannah Montana extra oh wow oh, oh, yeah like that's what I feel like I feel like I'm at school in a Disney Channel movie it's not right so I guess I get points for a decom but no points for the rest of the outfit it's just no it's, an, it's gonna be a no for me dog this ain't it <laughs> we are back in comfortable clothes I'm sorry for lying to you about wearing my glasses and all the clips. I'm sorry, I just need to see. And I didn't want to put on my contact lenses after I did my entire makeup. I am so happy that I did this kind of, it's not really a challenge, but to me it kind of was a challenge to find pieces that I thought were edgier in my closet, if we can even call it that, because they really weren't. Um, and all the pink in my closet, although I do, I, I have a lot of pink in my closet. It's fun to like mix and match them with the blacks that I have. My style does tend to be either pastel, comsa, or um, like pink and black. Very, I, I'm very much the, I can't choose either sides, you know, you know that meme. It was really fun to go through my closet and try and find pieces that I thought emulated the Sanrio character. And I'm really excited to do my favorite characters, little twin stars, because they're pink and blue. And I don't have much blue in my closet, but I'm hoping to like pick out the pieces that I do have in my closet. So I'm excited about that. And I think that a lot of the outfits came out nicely. And now I have cool new outfits to wear next time. I'd love to do other characters, but I'm gonna try and finish all the Sanrio characters first. Let's rate. Let's give this a rating. I would say for colors, I would give myself a seven and a half, eight out of ten because I really did have a lot of black and pink pieces within my wardrobe. Um, to make it a ten, I would just think about like darker colored pieces um, in terms of pink. I think. For for Karomi's style, I would give myself like a six or five out of 10 because I didn't quite get that like grungy bad B energy that Karomi, emu Karomi emulates. Um, but I did try with the pieces that I have in my wardrobe to do so. So overall, I would give myself like a 7 out of 10. I think that's pretty reasonable for this one. Like I know for Gudetama and Kuropi, it's going to be like a straight 0 to 2 out of 10. So I'm really happy with how I did with this. Thank you guys so much for watching me try to attempt this style challenge. Please make sure to leave me down below which outfit was your favorite or how you would improve my outfits because I'd love to hear that too. And then also leave down below which character from the Sanrio characters you think that I should style next. So maybe we do Charmy Kitty next. Maybe we do Hello Kitty next. We've got a lot of options. <laughs> and hopefully my wardrobe can get better before we do Kuropi and Gudetama. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, ring that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!